Greetings, YouTube. If people talked about other things the way they talk about gender identity. Fiction. It's either a short story or a novel. There's no such thing as a novella. Subatomic particles. Now they're saying that discovering tetraquarks and pentaquarks, how many combinations of quarks are there? I can't even keep up these days. Whatever happened to those talking about the old atoms? Cats. A manx is not a cat. Cats are defined as having a tails. A tail. Having tails. Maybe it's a koala. Ice cream. Avocado is not a valid ice cream flavor because I've never heard of it and it does not appeal to me. Language. I don't care what linguists say. I know a dialect when I see one and Pennsylvania Dutch English is not a dialect. Water. Water is H2O. Ice may parade around pretending to be something different, but we all know that it is also H2O, H2O and there's so also water. It's chemistry. Colors. The cultural imposition of boundaries on a color gradient has nothing to do with it. A rainbow is seven colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and another kind of purple. Murder. If you think murder is just the unlawful and premeditated killing of one person by another, then how do you explain the fact that animals murder each other all the time in nature? Doctors. You can't just put on scrubs, go to a medical school for eight years, pass a licensing examination, and gallivant around calling yourself a doctor. You're either born a doctor or you're not. Heat. Careful, that compound is rich in phlogiston. Oh, sorry, kinetic energy. You have to be politically correct these days. Sex. The missionary position is a natural sexual position. People are genetically predisposed to it. Politics. Libertarian? Stop trying to be a special snowflake. You're a Republican or a Democrat. End of story. Fields of thought. I don't believe in quantum mechanics because some people on the internet say things about it that I find outrageous. Theater. I'm not an actor. I'm really Hamlet. I don't care if they kick me off the set. I'm not calling you, uh, and I'm not calling you imposters, <coughs> Rosencrantz, and Guildenstern. Apparently. Shakespeare is not Lee's Mandarin. Movies. Sean Connery is real James Bond because I've seen him, seen a James Bond a bunch of times. I think Daniel Craig is just dressing up and pretending to be James Bond, though. Now, I realize that this is all in good fun. It's, uh, it's satire of the first water. And if a couple of these, though, bring a little bit too close to home. And I've like, heard people say things that were very similar to what I just read as some lame grasping at straws, please don't make me change and have to grasp new concepts sort of thing. A whole lot of people don't like the idea that the world they knew when they were growing up is not actually how the world works. It was never actually how the world works. But because they were living in this little comfortable bubble that meant they never had to face the reality that other people lived. They just presumed that their personal life experience was everyone else's personal life experience. They were luckily like that. They didn't have to grapple or grasp with concepts that were going against the social grain, if you will. It's almost like they were sort of privileged like that. 